What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of What's at Mile High. We have a whole bunch of cool cars in the shop. Let's go ahead and get started. This first vehicle that we have is this Ram TRX right behind me. This vehicle is in for full front end paint protection film and ceramic coating. So we did the full hood, the full fenders, the headlights, the pieces right under the headlights, as well as the bottom of the doors, just to protect it from rock chips, any scratches, or anything else that this truck might endure. We did also paint correct and ceramic coat the rear half of the vehicle, just so there's a level of protection on the full vehicle. It's gonna make it much easier to clean and maintain. The PPF that we use is is Lumar's Valor PPF, which also has ceramic coating infused in the top layer, so you don't have to worry about ceramic coating this or anything like that, it's all taken care of. The next vehicle we have is one of two Lamborghini Urises. Last time we talked to you guys about this car, let you know that it was getting full body paint protection film. We are just about complete with this vehicle. We just have to look over the vehicle one more time, make sure it's all good to go. We did also fully tint the vehicle in our Ceramic Plus film, all the sides, the back, including the windshield and last thing we have to do is put the windshield protection film on the front windshield just to protect it from rock chips and any other elements on the road that might hit it and potentially crack it. The next vehicle we have is this black Lamborghini Urus. This one's getting full matte paint protection film. The driver's side is pretty much all complete. We are gonna be going with a little bit of a two-tone on this. As you guys can see, this is Stealth PPF and the fender flares as well as the bottom of the doors, the mirrors and some other pieces, we are gonna be wrapping in gloss PPF just to give it a little bit of a contrast. It'll make it a little bit more aggressive. We still have to send off the wheels to powder coating. However, we have to take this vehicle to the other shop to put it on the lift so that way we can get the wheels off. So we have to finish the PPF in order to do that. We are also going to be doing a little bit of a chrome delete on the sides where there's a little bit of a silver just to tie in the full blackout look. It's gonna look super good, super clean when we're all complete with it. And we'll keep you guys updated on that. Hey, what's up guys? Sean from Mile High Customs here today. We're in the front shop today. This is where we do most of our wheels and balancing, things of that nature. Uh, right here, we got this 2022 Audi e-tron. Uh, right now, as you can see, it kind of has like smaller OEM fitment. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and be adding these 22 inch Vossen wheels right here. This is the HF4T. Uh, this is in a satin bronze finish because uh, that's what the customer wanted. So, you know, customer gets what they want. So this is staggered as well. So the rears are going to be a little bit wider than the front to give you a little bit more of an aggressive look. Here at Mile High Customs, we do a lot of wheels, a lot of Austin wheels. So we're very familiar with them as far as fitment and uh, things like that. So yeah, let's get to it. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna jack this vehicle up, make sure it's nice and safe, lock it in place on our uh, lift right here, um, cause um, we're about to get to work. One hour later. The next vehicle we have is this Tesla Model 3 that we just finished up. It is wrapped up in satin smoldering red. We did also smoke out the headlights in our light smoke, the tail lights in the dark smoke, as well as get some new black emblems. The front T is painted satin black. We got the rear emblems. It actually says Tesla, so nice little change up from just the logo. And then the dual motor is also black as well. This vehicle, we did do the top half, the pillars and the mirrors in satin black, just to give it a little bit more of an aggressive look, give it a little bit more of a contrast, make it stand out a little bit. Overall, this vehicle is looking super good. The satin smoldering red, just looks really, really good on this vehicle and really good on a lot of other vehicles. So I know the customer is gonna be super happy when this, when he comes and picks it up. Two more cars that we have in the shop. This first one is this Dodge Challenger. This one is getting paint correction and ceramic coating. The guys are on lunch, so Ron is on lunch as well. He's about 75% complete with the paint correction. Just has to polish a few more parts and then it's gonna be ready for ceramic coating. Quick update on Ariana's uncle's truck. This thing is pretty much all complete. She is just working on the front grille, which is right here. Typically, if customers or clients ask us to wrap this, we tell them straight up no, just because it is super tedious, a whole bunch of little pieces. And overall, if you look really close, the fitment isn't 100% with the vinyl. However, from a couple feet away, you really can't tell. I think they wanted to get it painted. However, it was just gonna take too long. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a spoiler. 
This is a surprise for her uncle. I believe today is Friday. Tomorrow is his birthday party. So they're gonna be finishing up the truck tonight and taking it to him to kind of surprise him. I believe he thinks that we're out of material. I forgot what excuse she gave him exactly. So he thinks it's gonna be done in a couple days or in a week or so. However, it is pretty much all done. They just need to put the door handles, put the grill back on and do a couple final touches and it'll be all good to go. But that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed all the cool cars in the shop. Leave a comment below. Let us know which car you guys like the most. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys next time.